the end of the week, and so it's time to take out the trash. Okay, so I've got the actual garbage person garbage can. I'm gonna start decorating it soon. It feels good to not have my actual trash from my desk constantly on display on the show. This one's just got people's pictures. And I was looking back, I think one of the last people we put in here was actually Tucker Carlson. So he still belongs in there, so I'm gonna put him back. But anyway, there was a lot of garbage this week, there really was. And there were some really horrible people that obviously are terrible. But garbage people tends to focus on certain sorts of behavior. And so for my um, entry this week, I wanna cut right to a video that became a narrative following the speeches last night. Take a look at this video of Rand Paul. We have Rand Paul here in downtown Washington, D.C., just getting out of the Republican event at the White House with Trump accepting the nomination for the Republican Party for the 2020 election. He is surrounded by a crowd of protesters here, as well as this line of Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police. Okay, so that's a video. At some point, he starts trying to leave. And look, there's a crowd around him. There's people taking pictures. People are shouting, you know, incendiary crazy things like stop killing us and, you know, say Brown Taylor's name and stuff like that. One of the cops gets pushed at some point, except that that's not why he's a garbage person. He's a garbage person because ever since that happened last night, up to and including this morning on Fox and Friends, he has been repeatedly saying that he was nearly killed. That those cops stopped the protesters from ripping him apart with their bare hands. They're, they've got protest signs. They don't want to die. Like, by the way, I love that once he's out of that area, he's finally wearing a mask again. He can take it seriously because Trump's not around. Um, they're just saying like, hey, take this seriously. Stop killing us, things like that. And he has turned it into these insane rioters would have killed me if they weren't stopped at the last moment. And so for that reason, if we can go back to me, Rand Paul is this week's garbage person for me. Thoughts? Well, I drew my garbage person. <laughs> <laughs> you see who it is, John? What? That's yeah, pretty the good. Same garbage person, Randall <laughs> Ayn Rand Paul. <laughs> That's a good drawing, of Rand Paul, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, Tell Rand- me why he's garbage. This is a paid actor, staged protester, Rand Paul. What are you doing? Where are you? Why are you there? In what world is Rand Paul walking through the streets outside the White House? Yeah. For any reason other than to get this photo op. Now, there was a different moment where Rand Paul feels like he was under attack. That's because a police officer shoved a protester who shoved the police officer back. And Rand's like, oh my God, Rand Paul can't even keep the peace with his neighbors. And he thinks, and he and he's trying to be the authority on what we should do in America to keep the peace abroad. Rand Paul is a liar. Rand Paul says, Donald Trump wants to get out of the Middle East, just like you could have. Could have gotten out of Yemen. There's an option. Yeah. You Trump vetoed getting out of Yemen. Vetoed. Rand Paul was for that. Rand Paul is for getting out of that. But but I got couch out of my pro daddy. And I wonder what Ron Paul is thinking through. All of this. My God. What is That's Ron, a great question. What's your dad think about this, Rand? He's got to just, because I don't think that Ron Paul is going to say, That's okay. I'll abandon my principles, wacky though they be. Like Rand Paul has tried. He's tried to straddle that divide and he's going to bang his nuts on the, on, on the asphalt when he falls off. Like that's the problem. <laughs> like oh, Rand that's Paul, good. All, all of that. And what just happened, it's it's like the, I said it earlier in the show, they turned the White House into a castle. And they invited the, the princes and princesses to that castle. And what they're trying to do is turn all of the decent Americans into uh, monsters and animals. That's what they want to portray mm-hmm. people as. If you look at that, 
Most of the people were saying, just say her name. Why? Where's Rand Paul from? They're not just shouting Breonna Taylor at some rando. Kentucky. Hmm. He's the Kentucky senator. He is responsible for that. And his argument here is I should never have to face the people. I should never have to. Why should I why should I do that? What well he will for a photo op. He's doing it for a photo op. There is no other reason than to get that. Now, there's plenty of people standing outside of the of the White House's folks. There was one guy like flipped off an old lady. Like got in her face and did that. Like obviously I'm against that. Obviously, I'm against all of that. And I think that there everybody's there's so many people guilty of this one thing of taking a small group of folks within an organization, within a movement, or just in the same physical space and saying yeah. they represent everyone. And a lot of people do. Like there's the ACAB movement, all cops. No, they're not. There are good cops. I love good cops. I believe there are good cops. I know good cops. And I love them so much. I support good cops so much that I want to rebuild the concept of policing around good cops. And I think that's the kind of messaging that America needs to do. And I think that's what like the Joe Biden campaign needs to do is say, I love good, there are good cops. And I want to listen to good cops and give good cops what they need to succeed. But all this messaging goes to nothing. And it just allows people like Rand Paul to be like, oh my gosh, there's a person near me saying that I should do a better job. Yeah. I, you know, I hadn't actually really thought about it because I assumed at some point they have to leave. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, no, you you know, people pointed out I didn't crumple it. He's just like put like nice and gently. No, he's actual garbage. He's gotta go in the garbage. We don't reuse these pictures because they're unreusable. Yeah. Were 2,000 people just walking out of the gate of the White House back to their cars? That seems unlikely. They did it on purpose. That, that's what, yeah. there's no And valid. nothing happened to him. And nothing, nothing happened, happened to him. Anyway, and you know what? Things are happening to other people. It's not actually about Rand Paul. He wants to make it about him. But no, the people who, you know, a right wing militia member, gang member, whatever, were shooting in Kenosha, they didn't just get pushed or heckled, okay? Um, Jacob Blake didn't get pushed seven times in the back by a cop. This isn't about him and his BS attempts to make himself out to be the victim. And he literally is going on the media repeatedly saying that he was nearly killed. Unfortunately, there was video. Not that it matters, Fox isn't gonna show it. Anyway, we have overlapped on our garbage person, which almost never happens. Almost never. I don't never. think it's ever Maybe happened. It's happened really interesting, Yeah, it had to be him, it had to be him, but anyway. Uh, that was after most of the votes for the TDR community garbage person came in. So with 18,000 votes, the community has voted for right wing media for defending the Kenosha killer. Got 74% of the vote this week. So right wing media, particularly Tucker Carlson, I'm, I'm assuming um, absolute garbage for explaining that he effectively had to do it. The 17 year old had to illegally get a gun, drive across state lines and murder a few people. It, I don't, I don't want to get myself totally back into that headspace. We talked about it a lot on the show yesterday and the day before, but they're they're defending people who are trying to hunt us down and kill us. And we're supposed to, like it's a civil society that we have. We're supposed to be just talking about the facts or something. They support people hunting us down the streets and killing us. They made excuses for the guy sending pipe bombs to newsrooms. It never ends. Anyway, uh, coming in second, the RNC for not even bothering to choose a platform got 12%. That's funny. Kimberly Guilfoyle for hurting everyone's ears got 8% of the vote. And Jerry Falwell Jr. for being a massive hypocrite got 6% of the vote. That is this week's Garbage People. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.